Hey there tech fans, in today's video I'll help you better understand the connection options available between your computer and a display device. In this first section, I'll cover the two choices you have, either HDMI or USB-C, and I'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons of each of those choices. And then I'll show you some current technology that allows you to easily expand those connections. I'll do two short demonstrations showing you how both of those technologies work, and then I'll come back one more time to help you decide which of those two options is right for you. So let's get started with the basic connection. Up until recently, all computers provided a dedicated HDMI connection that you could use with a local monitor. What's changed is most modern laptops have gotten thinner, smaller, and more portable, and because of that, some manufacturers have eliminated a dedicated HDMI connection, which makes it really tricky to connect an external monitor. With most modern laptops, you'll have two USB-C connections, which means you need to use either a cable or an adapter to connect your laptop to an external monitor. So if your laptop or your computer has a dedicated HDMI connection, you can use a high quality HDMI cable that has an HDMI connector on this end for your computer and another one on this end for the monitor. So that's the simplest way to go. The challenge with an HDMI connection is it's always a one-to-one -one relationship. And what I mean by that is when you connect the monitor to your laptop, you can extend your desktop across that external monitor or mirror your desktop, but that's as far as it goes. You can't expand to a second monitor. Another option you have is a USB-C to HDMI cable. So with modern laptops that only provide a USB-C connection, you can plug this end of the cable into your laptop and this end of it directly into a monitor. Now that gives you the same functionality as a dedicated HDMI cable, which means you can extend your desktop across that external monitor and you can mirror your desktop there as well. But if you want to expand beyond a single monitor, you'll need a device like this one that actually connects to your laptop through a USB-C connection and then provides two HDMI connections here. Now the advantage of a USB-C product like this, it allows you to actually extend your desktop across two or three or even four external monitors at the same time, which greatly increases your screen real estate and allows you to open more programs simultaneously or even open some of those programs in full screen mode. Now the challenge with HDMI is that you could use an HDMI splitter like this, which connects to your laptop or your computer with an HDMI connection and provides two external HDMI connections for two monitors. But the problem is the computer can't split that image across multiple monitors through a standard HDMI connection. So all this does is allow you to mirror your desktop across multiple external monitors, which is great if you want to show the same content on multiple monitors at the same time, either during a demonstration to a customer or at a trade show, but you can't extend your desktop using a splitter like this. With this type of hub, you can expand your desktop beyond a single monitor, so that's a major advantage of using USB-C. HDMI has the advantage of being an easy connection, cables are readily available, they're inexpensive, it's a simple connection between the laptop and the monitor, but you may not have that choice because, again, most modern computers have eliminated that HDMI connection, which means your only option is either a dedicated USB-C to HDMI cable, or you can use something like this, an external hub that gives you multiple connections for your monitor. One other advantage of an external hub like this is that this single connection expands into a wide range of other connections. So on this particular one, I have two USB-A ports that are USB 2.0. I've got memory card slots. I've got a power port here where I can use an external charger and actually charge the laptop through this port. So in a lot of ways, the USB-C connection, which provides the same level of video resolution as the HDMI, is a better choice for most people that are using a laptop because using a hub like this allows you to further expand that single USB-C connection to do a lot of other things like connecting external peripherals like a microphone or maybe an external hard drive to your computer through that single USB-C port. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both of these products, then I'll come back and do a demonstration and show you what I mean about expanding your desktop or extending it across those external monitors, and then I'll come back one more time and talk about a few other things that you'll want to know about these two choices. This first product is an HDMI splitter from O-Ray. It's the HD-102C, and it's a pretty simple device. On the one end, you've got a flexible heavy-duty cable that ends in an HDMI connection, and you'll plug this into any open HDMI port on your computer. And the other end of it has two female HDMI connections labeled output one and output two, and that's where you'll connect the external monitors. And what this does, in essence, is take that single HDMI signal 
and splits it into two external monitors, which means the same content is being viewed on both of those monitors that's being viewed on your desktop. And this can really be nice if you've got to display that content on multiple monitors at the same time, maybe at a trade show, or if you're doing a presentation. The challenge is the computer has no way of splitting that between those two external monitors. So you can definitely mirror your desktop across both of those, but you can't extend your desktop across both of those. This product is the O-Ray SX-2C1080-D100W which is a USB-C hub that does several things through a single USB-C connection. So to start with, you've got a flexible heavy-duty cable on the end that terminates in a USB-C connection, so you can plug this into any open USB-C port on your computer to activate the hub. Now initially, you can use this as an extension of that USB-C video, and you'll find an HDMI connection right there and another HDMI connection right there. So just like with the splitter, you can connect two HDMI monitors to your computer, but the big difference is with the USB-C connection, I can not only mirror across those two monitors, which will display the same image, but I can also extend my desktop across both of those external monitors, which again allows me to move programs to those external monitors as if it were screen real estate on the laptop. The other advantage of a hub like this is that you can see there are two USB 3.0 USB-A ports right there that you can use for external peripherals. You'll also find a USB 3.0 port right there that you can use for external peripherals. And then on the other side, you have two memory card slots, a full-size SD card slot and a micro SD card slot that you can pop a memory card into and start transferring files to your computer through that single connection. And then finally, a port right here. It's a USB-C port that's used for charging. So you can plug your laptop charger into this port which provides charging for your laptop through that single connection, as well as all the power that's needed for any external peripheral that's connected over here. So this hub gives you expanded functionality over a standard HDMI splitter. In this first demonstration, I'll show you how an HDMI splitter works. Over here, I've set up my laptop, which has an HDMI connection. And over here, I've set up two monitors as my output devices. And this is where I'd like to enjoy the content from that laptop. In front of me, I have the two port splitter. The first connection I'll make is from the device directly to my HDMI port, and I'll plug that into the open port. And then this splitter requires external power, so I've already plugged in a small power supply. The other end of that cable has a USB-C connection on it, which plugs right into the DC input port on the splitter. And now I can connect my two output monitors to the two HDMI ports on the end. I have two high-speed HDMI cables connected up to them, and I'll plug those into port one and port two. Now, the minute I do that, the laptop recognizes there's an external device connected and it's sending video over that HDMI connection to these two monitors. Now, it takes a second for them to come online, and there you go. But the important thing to remember is that image right there is a mirror of the image on my desktop. I can't actually extend my desktop across those two monitors, and I'll show you that because you can see the mouse moving around on those monitors, which exactly mirrors what's happening on my desktop. In this second demonstration, I'll show you how the USB-C hub works. Over here, I've set up my laptop, and again, over here, I have two output displays. The first set of connections I'll make to the hub are from the displays. Again, I've got two high-speed HDMI cables connected up to the monitors, and I'll plug those into the two HDMI ports on the hub. And once I've made those connections, I can now plug this USB-C connection into an open port on the laptop. I've got one on the side. And the minute I make that connection, the laptop recognizes again that I've connected an external device. And in this case, I've already adjusted my display settings to show two monitors off to the right-hand side of my main display. It takes a second for the computer to recognize that and make the adjustments, and you'll see the images come up over here. Now, the big difference, again, between a USB-C connection and a standard HDMI connection is that I've extended my desktop across these two monitors, which essentially joins this desktop space to my desktop on the laptop. So when I move the mouse around, you can see it's moving around in that top display, down to the bottom display, back to my laptop, back over to the bottom one, up to the top. So what I've done essentially is gathered up all this display space that I can use for opening programs or even pulling programs up in full screen mode if I need better detail on those programs. So the flexibility of a hub like this that allows me to both mirror and extend my desktop really increases the flexibility of how I connect to external monitors. And the nice thing about a hub is that you have additional connections like the USB-A ports that I showed you, a USB-C charging hub, and two memory card slots 
that the minute I plug one of those things into that hub, it's immediately seen by my computer, and if it's a memory card, I can start moving files back and forth, or if it's some external peripheral like a microphone or a camera, I can use it on the laptop all through that single USB-C port. And it really is just that easy to get it working. Now that you have a good understanding of the two choices, either HDMI or USB-C, which of these two is right for you? Well, if you have a modern laptop that doesn't provide a dedicated HDMI connection, the choice is simple. It has to be a USB-C to HDMI connection. So a cable is a really easy way to do that. Again, you'll plug this into an open USB-C port on your computer. You'll plug this into the open HDMI port in the back of the monitor. The other advantage of a USB-C connection, though, is you can use a hub like this to further expand that single port. So by plugging this into the USB-C port on your computer, you can use a standard HDMI cable from this hub to two external monitors, and you can extend your desktop across both of those external monitors, which is something you can't do with a dedicated HDMI connection. So this not only allows you to expand your desktop across multiple monitors, but it provides a lot of other connections that further expand that single USB-C port on your computer including a couple of USB-A connections, memory card slots, and even a dedicated charging port you can use with your laptop charger to charge your laptop through that single USB-C port. The advantages of HDMI are that number one, it's a very common standard. So connecting a standard HDMI cable to your computer, if you've got a dedicated HDMI port, you'll simply plug this into that port, plug this into your computer monitor, and you're ready to go. The other advantage to HDMI is that you can find splitters like this, so if you have to present to multiple people at the same time, you can plug this into your computer and then plug two monitors in here and show that same content that's on your desktop across both of those monitors. The disadvantage to an HDMI connection is you can't really expand your desktop or extend your desktop across more than one external monitor at any given time because the computer can only send a single media stream out through that HDMI connection. It has no awareness of that second or third monitor. With USB-C, it knows immediately when you connect a second or a third or a fourth monitor to the hub, it sees that and then gives you the choice to either mirror or extend your desktop across all those external displays. So the choice really comes down to number one, what type of laptop you're using, and number two, which of these two you prefer. And it really is just that easy to get it working. And the nice thing is, you have a choice which gives you some flexibility in how you connect your external monitor. So hopefully you found this helpful. That's all I had for today. And until next time, thanks again for watching.